Forbidden City. The largest imperial palace in the world, which is a masterpiece of Chinese architecture and has seen 24 different empires, is considered one of the largest cultural museums in the world. For construction of this forbidden city of China began in 1406 AD by the order of Zhou Di, the second emperor of the Ming dynasty, until 1911 AD and the destruction of the Qing dynasty. A total of 24 emperors have resided in this city and ruled over China since 1924. Visit this collection. It was opened to the public as a palace museum and its prohibition ended. The Forbidden City is the only one of the historical palaces in China. The remarkable color used in the interior of the Forbidden City is red and the color of the windows, columns and doors is also yellow. Red represents happy events and celebrations and shows its popularity in Chinese daily use. In addition, the yellow color is a symbol of the emperor's royal privilege. Today, this beautiful city has been built as the largest historical palace in the world. The Forbidden City of China is an old city in Beijing, the capital of China, and it is considered one of the most important historical sites of this country. The Forbidden City of China is considered to be the largest and most complete collection of wooden architecture in the world based on old astronomical beliefs. For the Chinese, the purple stars were in the center of the sky and had taken an important place. That's why the emperor chose the Purple Palace as his home. It was forbidden to enter this palace and if someone had a special permission from the emperor, he could not step on it. For this reason, it was called the Purple Forbidden City or the Forbidden City. But why is this city called the Forbidden City? The main reason for naming this place was because no one had the right to enter this place and it was hidden from everyone except the royal family and the noble family. The Forbidden City of China is a rare work with a rectangular structure covering an area of about 72 hectares. Its dimensions are 961 meters long from north to south and 753 meters wide from east to west. A wall with a height of 10 meters and a ditch with a width of 52 meters surrounds the complex. The wall has a gate on each side. The walls are thick and designed to withstand the cannon fire of that time. The architecture of the Forbidden City complex is the crystallization of the attitude and tact of the Chinese people. In 1987, the Forbidden City became a UNESCO World Heritage Site and after that it was one of the top five buildings in the world. The Forbidden City has about 15 million visitors a year who come from all over the world to see this tourist attraction in China. The Forbidden City is the name of an area in Beijing, the capital of China, which is considered one of China's tourist attractions. This city is actually a collection of spectacular palaces that were once the residence of the empires of different Chinese dynasties. Since the arrival of people non-royal families were forbidden to it, so they named it the Forbidden City. Of course, today the Forbidden City of Beijing is considered as an important attraction. In every place of this building, you can see the magnificent works of elegant and exceptional Chinese architecture, from the colors to the elements and the direction of the structures. All of them have their own symbolic aspects. Upon entering this area, you can see ancient figures such as lions, recognize the dragon and lion well, and also be surprised by watching the most magnificent wooden building in the world. It is interesting to know that all the wooden parts of the forbidden city of Beijing are connected only by using ropes and no nail connections were used in their assembly. Also, yellow and red colors are used in the patterns on the ceilings and walls, which are symbols of power and greatness in Chinese culture. In Chinese culture, the dragon represents the power of the empire and the emperor, heavenly son, is called the true dragon. This city was built according to class principles and rules. There are three famous and ancient palaces in this complex, which were the place where emperors exercised their power and performed great ceremonies. Please comment your opinion about this magnificent building.